A Russian commander captured by Ukraine condemned Moscow's genocide invasion, saying in a remarkable televised statement that the troops were duped into believing Kyiv had been overthrown by Nazis and needed liberating. National Guard Lt. Col. Astokov Dmitry Mikhailovich, who was captured along with two other soldiers, said that he had been told they were being sent to help Ukraine because it was dominated by a fascist regime and that nationalists and Nazis had seized power. Obviously, this information was unilateral information, Mikhailovich told reporters in a video that emerged Monday. National Guard Lt. Col. Astokov Dmitry Mikhailovich said that the troops were duped into believing Kyiv had been overthrown by Nazis and needed liberating. Channel 24 The captive begged for mercy from Ukrainians. EPA STR captured Russian soldiers answer questions of journalists during a press conference organized by Ukrainian security service in Kyiv. EPA slash STR The lifeless body of a man killed in a Russian rocket attack lies amidst the debris, Sunday March 6, 2022. AP photo slash Andrew Marienko. The captured Russian officer apologized to Ukraine. The colonel said his doubts were further confirmed when he found out that his favorite boxers, Ukrainians Oleksandr Sik and Vasily Lomachenko, planned to fight for the resistance. The captive begged for mercy from Ukrainians and said he was ready to go to jail for taking part in the brutal offensive. I feel shame that we came to this country, the colonel said. I don't know why we were doing it. We knew very little. We brought sorrow to this land. Captured Russian soldiers answer media questions at a press conference in Kyiv. Ukraine, Saturday, March 5, 2022. AP photo slash F from Lukatsky. National Guard Lt. Col. Astokov Dmitry Mikhailovich and his comrades had been told they were being sent to help Ukraine because it was dominated by a fascist regime. Channel 24. The POW also urged Ukraine to let Russian troops live. Channel 24 National Guard Lt. Col. Astokov Dmitry Mikhailovich was captured along with two other Sauders on Thursday. Channel 24 Telling reporters that he was speaking freely, the high-ranking officer apologized to the Ukrainian citizens, who have come under direct fire by the invading forces. I cannot find the words to say sorry to the Ukrainian people, Mikhailovich said, adding he would understand if Russia was never forgiven. The POW also urged Ukraine to let Russian troops live. Get the latest updates in the Russia-Ukraine conflict with the Post's live coverage. A woman takes a rest after crossing a destroyed bridge as she evacuates from the city of Irpin, northwest of Kyiv, on March 7, 2022. Dimitar Dilkov slash AFP via Getty Images People cross a destroyed bridge as they evacuate from the town of Irpin, 
on the only escape route used by local residents. Carlos Maria Two bodies of civilians who were killed while attempting to flee the city. EPA slash Oleksandr Ratoshniak A factory and a store burn after having been bombarded in Irpin. AP photo slash Emilio Morinati. Many of them are just embarrassed. They do not want war, the downcast man said. I just sincerely hope for your mercy toward those people who come to you with their hands up, or those who are wounded. We should not sow death, it's better to sow life, he said. Mikhailovich urged his troops to be brave and oppose their commanders. The captive said he was ready to go to jail for taking part in the brutal offensive. Channel 24 National Guard Lt. Col. Astokov Dmitry Mikhailovich urged his troops to be brave and oppose their commanders. Channel 24 The troops were told nationalists and Nazis had seized power. Channel 24 A residential building damaged by shelling in Mykolaiv, Ukraine, March 7, 2022. Press Service of the State Emergency Service of Ukraine slash hand out via Reuters. You are in a tense situation, going against your own commander. But this is genocide, he said. Russia cannot win here anyway. Even if we go until the very end. We can invade the territory but we cannot invade the people. <laughs>